Hey, what's up all you beautiful people? It's Ashley here and today's video is all about the 12 symptoms of a psychopath. I was supposed to do this video three weeks ago. Then I fell ill because of the haze that we're having, that we're still having. I only got better on Monday-ish and now I finally have the time to do this video, which I'm glad because over the past three weeks, I've noticed that the article on Psych2Go, 12 Symptoms of a Psychopath, has been blowing up. So I guess it's perfect for me to make a video about it. Now I know nobody really gives a flying... How shall I censor this? Fudgesicle. I know nobody really cares about me, but in case any of you might be wondering while you're watching this video, yes, this is a band-aid. Why? Because I burnt myself with a curling iron yesterday. GG Ash. Also, do you notice something different around here? Yes, I got a professional microphone. I'm using it for when I do any voice acting, but I thought that I might as well use it for all of my future videos so I can at least improve the sound quality. Video quality is on its way, I, I swear. It's just so difficult to save up for a video camera which is so expensive and especially when there's so many video games coming out that you gotta buy but at the same time you can't afford because they're so expensive but you still want to get them. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go on to psychopathy. now. Psychopathy is one of the most difficult disorders to spot. The psychopath can appear normal and even charming, but underneath they lack conscience and empathy, which makes them manipulative, volatile, and often, but by no means always, criminal. One thing to keep in mind is that the vast majority of people with antisocial tendencies are not psychopaths. In fact, Doctors don't even officially diagnose people as psychopaths. They have another term for that. It's called antisocial personality disorder. Now don't lie. When I say psychopath, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have already thought about some famous fictional characters. Jack Torrance from The Shining, Hannibal Lecter from either the movie or the TV. By the way, that TV series should not have ended. And that guy, Christian Bale played as in American Psycho. I don't know, I haven't watched the movie yet, okay? It's on my list, I swear, I will watch it, don't judge me. But are they really psychopaths? Well, they might be if they have any one or more of these 12 symptoms. Number 12 is animal driven. That would have sounded sexy if we weren't talking about psychopaths. One of the more subtle characteristics of a psychopath. This means that they are more concerned with the basic human needs like food, water, and money, according to research. Number 11 is ums and uhs. Life Science discussed a study where researchers interviewed 52 convicted murderers in order to analyze their linguistic tendencies. They found that the convicts tend to use ums and uhs more frequently than normal people. This may be because they're uttering some words unconsciously while carefully selecting which words to say. This could be as a result of psychopaths having little to no conscience, causing them to see a crime as the logical outcome of a plan. Number 10 is self-focused. They see themselves as the center of their universe. They only think of how they will be affected by someone or something else rather than thinking about how their actions might affect other people. Number nine is narcissistic. Now, based on a study done by a group of Dutch researchers, they found that psychopaths display magnolent narcissism, which explains a psychopath's ability to manipulate any situation to their own advantage, with complete disregard for the suffering that their behavior might cause others. Not only that, some psychopaths are boastful and arrogant and often criticize others. Number eight is a troubled childhood. Doctors have theorized that if a child has gone through childhood neglect, abuse, and trauma, well, they can not be so sensitive towards other people's feelings and therefore develop psychopathic traits. 
Now this might be due to a lack of a bond or a connection. Number seven is charming. Psychopaths are often amusing, entertaining, and witty. They are incredibly effective at presenting themselves and they are extremely likable. This is because they're able to get inside your head. Why? Because they have zero distractions and are super focused. Therefore, they create an illusion of the connection that you may feel. Number six is impulsive. Psychopaths are impulsive in that they constantly take risks, often with no regard for the consequences. They are also rebellious, with fast-paced personalities. It is the impulsivity of psychopaths that makes them more prone to depression and suicide. Number five is pathological lying. Everybody lies. Yeah, I know that wasn't the right lyric, but come on. This is what mental health professionals call... Oh boy. Pseudologia Fantastica. Pseudologia Fantastica. This is what mental health professionals call Pseudologia Fantastica. Yeah. This is considered to be one of the elements in diagnosing psychopathy. Psychopaths not only lie about little things like what they had for dinner, but they also lie about big things, obviously, like which college they attended. Researchers have claimed that psychopaths lie in order to control others by manipulating them. Number four is lack of empathy. This shouldn't be a surprise, I've mentioned this quite a few times so far. One study has discovered that when psychopathic individuals imagine others in pain, Brain areas necessary for feeling empathy and concern for others fail to become active. When imagining others in pain, they showed an increased response in the ventral striatum, an area that involves pleasure. But when imagining pain to themselves, they showed a typical neural response. Number three is irresponsible especially when it comes to financial obligations. Even though they are outwardly seen as charming and trustworthy, and even though some have studied jobs and loving relationships, they tend to be irresponsible and engage in risky behavior. Number two is manipulative. Now in an article released by Global Research, the author argues that psychopaths are obsessed with power and because of their magnificent charm and intellect, combined with their great perspectiveness, they are extremely good at manipulating others. The author also claims that psychopaths are masters of impression management, making them almost chameleon-like in the way that they act around people. And finally, number one, unpredictable. Now, several of the factors that I've mentioned so far can cause psychopaths to be unpredictable. Pathological lying, for example. Because they rarely tell the truth, it is difficult to determine what psychopaths will do next. Their lack of empathy also contributes to their level of unpredictability. Because they're unable to understand others, they develop shallow emotions, which cause them to get bored easily. This means that they are always on new and different quests, not knowing what they are going to do or where they will end up. And there you have it, the 12 symptoms of a psychopath. Do you have any of these symptoms? Do you know someone who has any of these symptoms? Could they be a psychopath? Well, that is my time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come follow me on Tumblr or at my singing channel. All of my sources are in the description box below.